Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about the reflection of the light at a plane mirror. Plane mirror is somebody like one surface is a reflecting surface, whereas one surface is coated with color, paint, silver, whatever, so that the reflection of the light cannot go into the other side of that mirror. This is called something like a plane mirror, right? This is a plane mirror. Let us consider an object here. And we would like to know how does an image is formed of this object. We would like to, we are interested in knowing the image of this object by this plane mirror. So, let us imagine the light ray striking the object and then further striking the plane mirror. This light ray could be called like as we have explained incident light ray. This point is called point of incidence. If I draw a perpendicular line through the point of incidence that is called something like a normal, we know this is called something like normal and you also know this angle is called angle of incidence and now the light ray reflects back into the same medium like we have explained earlier and we know that this light ray is called reflected light ray, this angle is called angle of reflection and of course we know as for the loss of reflection angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. As we have discussed already that this light ray is supposed to go like this, but it has gone like this. This angle could be called like an angle of deviation. We have already explained in the previous video that angle of deviation is either 180 minus 2 i or something like 180 minus 2 r. This is the one thing that we know. Now, I would like to know how does an image is formed for this object. Therefore. To identify the image, one object is not enough, let us, one object is enough, sorry, but one light ray is not enough, we shall draw one more light ray. Let us draw one more light ray like this. This is the first light ray, this is the second light ray. It is very clear in the case of the second light ray, angle of incidence is zero. It is striking normally. Once if the angle of incidence is zero, angle of reflection is zero. Therefore, the light ray is going to go back into the same medium. So, have you seen the first light ray is going like this after reflection. The second light ray is going like this after the reflection. Here is your eye. We want to see this, but you can very clearly distinguish this light ray 1 and 2 are going away from the eye they are not meeting at the eye. Therefore, what does that I will do is, I will assume or else presume or try to identify that as this light ray is going away like this, uh, there must be some object somewhere. So, what does that I play, light ray, what does that I will do is, uh, it will just extend the light rays that it is receiving in the backward direction like this. It is the extension of the second done by the eye, it is the extension of the first done by the eye. These two are meeting here now. So, for the eye, it appears like image is here. And it is very clear that you might have noticed that it is behind the mirror. This image is behind the mirror. Actually, there is nothing behind the mirror. It is just imagining an image there. This kind of a image cannot be caught on the screen. You can catch it only in the eye. This kind of a image is called something like a virtual image. So, a plane mirror is making a, forming a virtual image. What do you mean by virtual image? We cannot caught it on the screen, which can't be caught it on the screen. Caught on the screen, but the eye can see it. So, it is very clear that a plane mirror gives a virtual image. Probably you also need to know one more thing that uh, the location of the object, if it is at a distance x from the mirror, location of the image is also the same, size is also the same, velocities are also the same, but this image is not actually a real image. What do you mean by a real image? There is another kind of image called something like a real image. Real image is someone which can be caught on the screen. 
we can catch it on the screen and we can see it on the screen but this kind of virtual images uh, cannot be caught on the screen so the images are of two types real and uh, virtual virtual means our eye extend the light rays and identify them somewhere at the behind the mirror that kind of image is called something like a virtual image real images it's actually reflected and reflected light rays are meeting somewhere right and it is clear that the location of the image is nothing but equal to the location of the object at the same distance but behind we can also say something like if you are having a mirror like this if an object is moving towards the mirror with a velocity v the image behind the mirror appears like moving with the same velocity towards you right therefore if somebody asks what is the relative velocity of image with respect to object or object with respect to image you can say v minus v because both of them are in the opposite direction its value is nothing but equal to 2v it's a basics of the reflection we will continue this discussion further in the next video lessons thank you for tuning by and i welcome you to my further video lessons thank you